It's a country that's had coffee since the 1700s. How you doing? Welcome to Around the Amazing World, a YouTube channel where we take a look and explore the world together with you. The people, the places, the culture, the unique views, and just enjoy every moment of it. Today's video is all about Peru. If you're looking to explore the land, stick with us. Let's go. Peru is a country in South America that's home to a section of Amazon rainforest and Machu Picchu, an amazing place, an ancient Indian city high in the Andes Mountains. The region around Machu Picchu, including the Sacred Valley and Inca Trail and colonial city of Cusco, is rich in archaeological sites. On Peru's arid Pacific coast is Lima, the capital, with a preserved colonial center and important collections of pre-Columbian art. Peru is most well known for its Andean region. This impressive mountain system bisects the country from north to south, and there are two parallel ranges, the Cordillera Occidental and the Cordillera Oriental. Peru does have a well-deserved reputation as a safe country to visit. If you like to travel, travelers to Peru can feel confident exploring villages in the Andes and cities along the North Eastern coast. Peruvians are known for their hospitality and friendliness. It's a great place to visit, and typically they make a positive impression on visitors. That said, Peru does have crime. Most expats, people visiting the country who choose to relocate to Peru, instantly fall in love with this corner of South America. With warm and friendly locals, some of the most picturesque landscapes in the world, and a rich history and a good standard of living, it's no surprise. Alcohol is sold in many different establishments throughout Peru, including bars, restaurants, discos, cafes, liquor stores, large supermarkets, and small grocery stores. One of the main concerns for the Peruvian is the Amazon jungle. Definitely unique. It's the prevalence of mosquitoes and other bugs. One of the main concerns for visitors to the Peruvian Amazon jungle area is the prevalence of mosquitoes and other bugs. The best time to visit Peru is during the dry season between May and October, especially if you plan on going on a trek. It's a wonderful time with sunny days and bright blue skies, but early booking is crucial because it's the peak season like anywhere in the world. In Peru, you can live pretty cheaply or as expensively as you want, but on average, the daily amount of money that you'll need is $150 to $200 per person per day. Almost half of all Peruvians are Amerindian, or about 45% of the population. The two major indigenous ethnic groups are the Quechuas, followed closely by the Aymaras, as well as several dozen small Amerindian ethnic tribes scattered throughout the country, beyond the Andes Mountains, and in the Amazon Basin as well. Here's a fun fact about Peru. Coffee has been grown in Peru since the 1700s, and the country is among the world's top 20 producers. Locally grown beans are ubiquitous, and Peruvians take their coffee strong, black, and with little evaporated milk, and a spoon or two of sugar. Permanent residence, if you're looking to visit it and stay longer, is not possible in Peru. Aside from two options, either you have a job or a Peruvian spouse. Otherwise, you'll either be obliged to take a tourist visa for 90 or 183 days, or a work permit, or have lived and worked in Peru long enough to qualify for naturalization. And if you are planning on visiting, you should know that most of the population identify with some form of Christianity, with the majority identifying as Catholic here, at around 70%. The leading employment sectors in Peru have long been agricultural and fishing, mining, and manufacturing, while the services sector is relatively underdeveloped. More about Peru all around the world as we travel and visit unique, beautiful places on our planet and their culture and heritage to learn about them. Check out more from around the amazing world and like and subscribe to our video if you're finding information useful.